Seafair has been a staple of summer in Seattle for more than half a century now. And one of those highlights has always been the hydroplane races on Lake Washington. But they aren't as popular as they used to be. New at 6, Jeff Podula from Como Radio has more on the future of those hydros. At the height of its popularity, hydroplane racing drew hundreds of thousands of fans to race sites all over the country. But in recent years, those numbers are down, and events like this one are becoming more and more rare. Slow-mo 5 goes over the winner! Back in the day, hydroplane racing was a common sight, and not just here in Seattle. Nearly a dozen events were held annually across the country. Oh gosh, we used to go to Evansville, Indiana. We would go to Miami at the Marine Stadium down in Florida. We had the President's Cup each year on the Potomac River. Um, and then, of course, Detroit and Seattle, Tri-Cities came on in the middle 1960s. We'd go to San Diego. We've run in Hawaii. But today, the number of races is down to five. And there's no question uh, that hydroplane racing has struggled in recent years. And a lot of it has to do with money. The economics of the sport is very difficult. It's, it's hard to figure out and make sure there's always enough money to sustain it. So they turn to local businesses because without big time sponsors at each site, the teams can't afford to race. It's a very expensive sport and nobody's making a lot of money at this. And so most of the people that are involved are doing it for the love of the sport. But the key to survival is making the event about more than just boat racing and figuring out how to appeal to a younger crowd that those sponsors want to reach. So we found ways to connect and bring them out. Uh, certainly uh, created some discounts that, that will entice them. And when they get here, the food, the music, the eclectic uh, extreme sports activities with the bikes and the hydro, hydro light, um, wakeboarding and those sort of things will be an attraction. Despite the struggles of hydroplane racing as a whole, some 160,000 people are expected to hit the shores of Lake Washington this weekend, making Seattle one of the most successful sites across the country. At Seafair, Jeff Pogela, Como News.